If you can imagine something, then you can create it with Synthesis Visual. It's a brand new product that I'll be reviewing today, but in a nutshell, this software allows you to create images based on your text uh, with the help of artificial intelligence. So you're going to get unique images that cannot be found anywhere online. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the software. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you a full demo, a full walkthrough so that you can see exactly what's included. Before I do so, I wanna mention that there is a link in the description of this video. Make sure to check that out because uh, on that page, you're going to get my extra software as well. Plus you can see the pricing, etc. Now let me dive into this and let me show you how it works. So Synthesis Visual is actually part of the Synthesis Studio, uh, which has multiple products like AI Voices, AI Humans, uh, Synthesis Visual, what we're going to see today, Face Swap, uh, Talking Faces as well. So these are other products and every everything will be in your dashboard. If you already own one of these products, then Synthesis Visual will also be in your dashboard. Now you can see it here, Synthesis Visual. When I click on Get Started, it allows me to get started with a detailed description. So I have already played with this software. And like I said, I'm impressed. So I'm going to show you a few examples so that you can see what uh, Synthesis Visual is capable of. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a fluffy monster uh, walking uh, at the pool. And then I'm going to do Pixar style. Pixar style. And now when I click on this button here, visualize, it's going to create four examples for me. So this is going to take, I think about 20 seconds before the images are done. So in the rest of this review, I will cut out these waiting moments. Uh, but in this case, I'm just gonna let it run the first time so that you can see how, mu how much time it takes to create your first designs. So as you can see, it's spinning right here. And I think it's uh, it's almost done, so that you can see it. And uh, one, two, three, there it is. And look at this. I think this is pretty amazing, right? And this is just from a description here, uh, a fluffy monster walking at the pool. So these are all different examples. So when you click on it, you can see it. I think this is a pretty cool one. And this is a, also a very funny and cute one. And this is one, it's actually with, with children here. Uh, and this is another one. Now, let's say I really like one of these pictures. Then you have a few options in here. So you can download the image. So when I click on this, it's downloading the image to my computer and I can use it for whatever I like. I can also here, uh, let's take this one, save it to a gallery. So when I click on save to gallery, it's being saved to my gallery inside of Synthesis Visual. Now, another cool thing is, let's say I really like this image, but I want to have multiple variations. I can do that as well. So when I click on this, look what happens here. It's going to add the same picture here to the search bar. And now when I click visualize, it's going to create different versions of this image. So let me pause the video. And there you go. You now have four different versions of same kind of a fluffy monster that we created. As you can see here, this one now has teeth in here. So this looks a little bit different. And then um, we have this one also with teeth. You see that? So it's going to take the same image and then it's going to create another version of this image for you. Now you have multiple options as well here when you're going to create images. You can also create horizontal images or you can create vertical images. And also an option is when you have an, an image in here, you can also enlarge them. I'm going to show you that as well, because these images are about maybe 500 by 500 pixel. Let's see if I can, can check that. This is about, yeah, six, 700 pixels uh, by six, 700 pixels. So you can enlarge them to make them 4K for example, but I'm going to show you that a little later. Let's just do another example. So let's save this one. I like this one with the teeth. So I'm going to save this to my gallery and I'm going to save this one also to my gallery. Now I have also um, have another example. Let me paste this in here, something that I made up before uh, this review and let's get rid of this 
image in here. I'm going to click on visualize. So now we have a young girl with flowers in her hair. Let's see what it comes up with. And there we go. It actually done a pretty nice job here. As you can see here, this is, is well done here. I really like this one with the, with the black at the side. Um, very nice, very nice one. This one here, the flowers are maybe a little bit strange here and, and their eyes. Um, and let's see this one. This one is also very cool. I think it, it has done a really good job, but I like this one the best. So I can save this to my gallery. And I'm going to create a few variations of this one as, as well. So let me click on this button here. Let me create a few variations of this one. And here you go. We have four other examples. So let me zoom in. This is actually one. Looks really good, isn't it? So let's save this one also. Download image and let's save this to the library. And then the second one. I think they're all looking very good. And all these persons do not exist. These have been created with artificial intelligence. And I think all look pretty good. This one also. Very pretty picture. Uh, so yeah, you can save them all to your library. And if you think that this is only text to image, then you're wrong because synthesis uh, visual comes with a lot more options here. I'm going to show you the other options in here as well. But at first, I'm going to show you a few more examples. So let me grab a text that I've created before that I've played with. And this is one of my car. I have an Audi A5 here, a uh, Sportback. And I've added all different kinds of details here to the description, like dramatic light, octane render, no license plate, hyper-realistic. So let me remove this image again here. And now let me create this car for you so that you can see how it's creating cars as well. Totally different picture. And there you go. Look at these results. I think this, this looks so good. Look at this. This is an Audi A5 here. And here you can see the description. So this is the description that I've used. Audi A5, Sportback, Cyberpunk, Cinematic Lightning, Neon Bars background, Hyper Detailed, Ray Tracing, 8K, um, and all the other description in here. I like this one, so I'm going to save this to my library as well. As you can see here, I also have the option to upscale this picture to a really big format. And I think all look great. I think this one is also very nice. Look at this picture, how good that looks. The logo is a little bit, you'll see that with logos, that the logos are not perfect when you do renders like this, because it's just grabbing images uh, and then it creates its own image. Here's another one, also a very cool one. And I really like this one as well. So that's being created. Let me show you another one. Um, I actually had this one with my daughter. She said, I want to see a cute little fox walking through the streets with a lot of neon light. So let's create or visualize that so you can see what comes out of this. And there we go. Look at these results. Very nice, isn't it? All created. But let's say you like one of these, which each image here, I like this one. With each image, you can do exactly the same. You can say, okay, do the variations here, like we've done before. So if we want to create variations, let's do that quickly. And boom, here we go. Look at all these different versions. And they look they look very similar, but they're different. Like here, we have two stripes on, on the road. Uh, there's a different background here, as you can see. They're all buildings here. And in this case, there are no buildings. Uh, it's so genius, this software. So. In case you are wondering, okay, I want I don't know what kind of details I need to fill in. There's also a magic stick in here. So when you click on this magic stick, so let's delete this one in here. And in a few seconds, I'm also going to show you the rest here in this menu because you can edit your image. You can remove images. Uh, you could do image to prompt. There's a gallery, etc. I'm going to show you that in a second. But let me show you this magic stick first. So when you click on this magic stick, it's going to help you to create the kind of image that you want to create. So let's say you want to have an image object. So let's say I want to create a Viking. I want to see a Viking. Then in the artist field here, you have the option to to choose from different artists. And if you know an artist, you can fill that out yourself as well. But let's say, um, I don't know the most of them, but let's say Thomas Kinkare, Kinkare, 
I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. And then the artist style here. You can also do non-expression, minimalism, pop art, ab abstract, uh, street art. Uh, as you can see here, all different surrealism. Let's take this one. Just make something up here. Let's say we want to have a tattoo college pattern drawing, a watercolor pencil, Pixar. Let's say we want to do a Pixar style as well. And then the lightning, we want to do a very cinematic here. You have all different kinds of options. Do you see that? Let me move out here. High contrast, high details, low contrast, neon light, as you can see, photorealistic portrait. But let's say we want to do a very, um, let's say, cinematic here. And then the camera here, you also have different kinds. We can do close-up, mid-shot, fizz-eyes lens, telephoto lens, drone shot, low angle, high angle, Dutch angle, full shot, all different kinds of shots that you can choose from. So let's say we want to do a close-up and use this. Now, as you can see here, it automatically fills out the details here of what we want to create. And then in square, we can say, okay, we want to do an horizontal image as well. And now we're going to visualize this image. And there we go. He has the options here. Look at this. This is Pixar style. I think this is the Viking in here in the boat. Let's see what it comes up with more here. Vikings in, in the boat here. So this is really a Pixar style. This is not really close up. So not every time, honestly, not every time it's going to do exactly what you want. So sometimes you need multiple tries to see what it comes up with. Um, here, another one. So these are the Vikings in the ships here. And yeah, as you can see, pretty cool results, right? So actually I wanted to see a face. So let's say a Viking uh, a face a Viking face in the style of surrealism Pixar. Let's see if this works better. And there you go. These are the results. Uh, this is totally different than the image that we just saw. Uh, but let's say you can't find what you're looking for. Then what you also can do is you can go to Google and then you could say Viking face and then just look for the images because you're not allowed to use these kind of images, right? So what you can do is you can say, okay, you're gonna download this image to your computer. And then what you can do is you can upload this to the software and you could do exactly the same. So we're going to upload this face right now. And now we're going to say visualize. So a Viking face in the style. So not, now we're not going to do in the style of sur surrealism, surrealism, realism. Uh, a Viking face and also not Pixar. So we're going to do a Viking face cinematic close up and we're going to visualize the image that we just grabbed from the web. So basically what you can do is you can grab images also from stock sites and then recreate the same images inside of Synthesis Visual. And the cool thing is that it comes with unlimited credits. So you don't get a certain amount of credit each month. It's unlimited credits. And look at this. These are better results, right? So, for example, this image, I think this is a pretty good job. Only the eyes are not perfect in this image, but I think it looks pretty cool. You can also use this option. I forgot to enable this, but enhance face. So, um, it clears facial uh, characteristics. So, when you're creating faces, that's what you actually need. So, when I select this one, let's retry it. And these are the new results. Let's see what it comes up with. Well, still, the eyes are not perfect. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's not always perfect what comes out. Here's another one. These eyes are better, as you can see. The ears are a little bit high in this one. Um, but yeah, you can see what, it, what it's capable of. Right here, the, the mustache is a little bit crazy. Uh, but again, you can create new variations. Let's say you like this one, then it can create new ones of this one and create better eyes, etc. So this is the whole first part of uh, Synthesis Visual. Now, like I said, in the menu here, when you go to Synthesis Visual, this is the first part, the image part. Now you can also edit your images. Now, the cool thing is, that when you added your images, this is the first option. Let me see, we had here, um, remove objects. Yeah, I think edit image here. Let me grab one of my images here. Let me grab my image actually. Let's say we wanna take this photo. This is my photo. I'm going to upload this. And then what I can do here, I, I can 
uh, replace parts here. So let's say I'm going to draw here. Let's say I'm going to do this. Let me quickly do this and come back to you. All right. So as you can see, I want to replace this part in this picture, uh, in this case, for someone else. So I'm going to say here, um, face of Donald Trump here. And I'm going to click Submit. What it's going to do, it's going to replace my hat with Donald Trump's hat. And you can do it with any kind of image. So you can replace hats, but you can also replace other parts in images uh, by what kind of uh, things you want to add into a picture. Now, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't work. So uh, let's wait and see what comes out of this one. And this is just a photo of me without a background. But here, look at this. <laughs> so this is my actual picture here. So this is me. Let's say you have branding in the background of your company. Then suddenly it's Donald Trump on your body here uh, that is being created. Now, you can also save this to the gallery if you like to. You can upskill this picture. But this basically allows you to replace things in photos. Now, this is one option. Also, you have the erase part. Let's say you have a little bit too much. You can also er erase parts here and then replace that part. The next thing that we have here in Synthesis Visual is remove AI object. Now, this is also a very cool option that allows you to remove objects from your images. So let me create an, a picture of me and my wife here. So this is us in Belgium, um, where we were a few weeks ago. And let's say I really like this picture, but what I don't like is these people here in the background. So I don't want to have these people uh, on my picture. So what you can do here is you can select the brush, the brush size. And then what you can do is you can draw on these these people here, the parts that you want to remove of a picture. So you need to be a little bit precise here. So that's what I'm going to do. And I cannot pause the video because otherwise it will immediately remove these parts. And I'm going to show you that in a second. So I'm going to select exactly what I want to have removed, right? So here I want to remove this parts and then I need to remove her lag as well. I want to keep as much as possible what can stay. So I don't want to remove parts that don't need to be removed, but let's say this is what it is, right? Look at this. So this is now yellow. I want to get these people removed from my picture. Now, when I release my mouse, look what happens. Look what happens. One, two, three, and there it goes. Boom, it's gone. Now it's not perfect as you can see. So there's still, I missed a few parts. So what you can do is you can simply select those parts and then it's going to automatically remove that. So now I release this, do you, uh, deleted this. Now I'm going to delete another part here. Look at this. So this also needs to be deleted here. And I'm going to release my mouse and look at this. Boom. Now the people are no longer in my picture. I can do the same thing here for this person. I don't want to have these persons as well on my picture here. So I'm going to select these people in here. I don't want to have them in, in my picture simply going to select every part of their body that I don't want to have in my picture. I'm going to release my mouse and look what happens. And it basically going to fill up the environment. Here is a little red dot. So I'm going to replace that as well. And look at this. This is my picture without other people on it. And I can also see the difference. So when I click this eyeball here, look what happens. The old one, you see that the people, the new one, they're the people now I've removed them. They're the people now I've removed them. Let me do that with another picture. So let me upload another picture, remove AI objects so you can see it again with another uh, image. And I think this is a very uh, cool, cool one. So let's say you have a picture like this on the beach and you don't want to have these chairs on the beach. So what you're going to do, you are simply going to select everything again here. So we're going to select all the chairs here, the part of the chairs and uh, boom. And you can also do this in in two faces, like if you don't want to have the top deleted yet, because in this case, that's that's possible. So let's do this one first here. So let's say, okay, we want to remove the chairs here and then only the stick here. Look what happens. One, two, three. Boom, chairs are gone. So we only have this part here that we need to remove. We have this part here, that, and then we're going to do this whole thing. We're going to select this. Look at this. 
also this part here and almost done so let's do it like this Oop. i think we got it now and look at this one through three boom it's gone and also i want to get rid of this and i want to get rid of this person here on the beach and look at this look at this picture now i see some wheels in here do you see that want to get rid of that as well so i'm going to select this and it's going to be replaced with sand look at this one through three boom there it's come and now we have a picture of an empty beach that we can use for our productions right here it's the old picture the new picture the old picture the new picture and all of this is included in synthesis visual then the next thing is image to prompt so this is going to allow you to search for images so what this allows you to do is let's say you find an image online and you don't know how to describe that image then what you can do here is let's say um what do we want to have this is an example let's say we want to this is an image that i got from the internet i'm going to upload this image and what the software is going to do it's going to generate a prompt for me that i can use to generate the same image for me as well so now you can see here this is an astronaut floating in the air above the earth a stock photo by adam blah 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 shutterstock contest winner space art U, uh, uhd image stock photo stock photo so what i can do here i can copy this text to the clipboard i can go back to synthesis visual in here i can go click on image okay i want to create an image and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to paste that in here and i'm going to say i want to have an horizontal image so now i got that description from the image that we uploaded and i'm going to click on visualize and boom look at these results very nice i think this is a cool one here only the feet here but this is this is another cool thing so i just showed you that you can remove parts so this picture is almost perfect in here but here his feet has rendered a little bit strange so what you can do is you can download this image and then you can simply remove this part so that it will be replaced with the sky but let's say this is a very cool image so we're going to save that to our gallery and then the next image here i think this is also a very cool one here i really like this one only a bit strange feet as you can see so he has no feet um this one here this is a completely strange one so you can see sometimes sometimes it did not render correctly so what you do simply uh you click on visualize again and it's going to create new examples for you you have unlimited credits so you can retry and retry until it comes up with the correct picture and here we have the new results as you can see so i think this one is good yeah this one is really nice so again if you like this image you can also say i want to create uh different variations of this one here so it's going to upload the picture you're going to click visualize and you're going to get other examples in a similar style and there we go here we have the other variations you can see here with different backgrounds you can see that in here you see here it only has a star and when we go here we have some more we have a another planet in the background there so yeah pretty cool now then the next option here is when you go to the menu here you can go to your gallery and from the gallery you can also do other actions with your photos so here are all the photos that we have saved to our library as you can see here so these are all different kind of images here as you can see I already also uploaded other images here look at this <laughs> been a pretty funny photo of a, a smart boy behind a laptop a very funny laptop as well uh, this is a very cool one also created uh with the software this was actually a picture of me the same picture that i uploaded and here i say a handsome old man it's not really a handsome guy right um, but as you can see it generated these images from my image i up simply uploaded my image and here i said a handsome young man so it created from my image remember my image so that was this image here so i uploaded this image and it created this image from the same image uh with the description handsome young man uh, so these are all examples here uh this was the fox that i already showed you here this was a cute animal eating a sandwich 
Look at this. Uh, let's scroll over them. Here was another one, a fluffy lion Pixar style. And this was uh, Alistair Overeem. I don't know if you know this fighter, uh, but it created this image. So it's not going to create exactly the same face, uh, but a lot of details. So if you want to create a fighter that does not exist, you simply take a fighter and it's going to create something for you. Here are the pictures of my Audi. Here's another picture of Alistair Overeem. Uh, let me see here. Oh yeah, nature pictures are also very nice. Um, it does a very good job in nature picture. Look at this, a photo of a blue forest on the moon with sunlight, sunlight, colorful leaves, realistic. Uh, let me see if I can refresh this further because my internet is super slow, unfortunately. So I need to have cable here. Um, but yeah, I think this shows you pretty much what is possible here. This was a realistic, super detailed dragon flying in space, close up. You know, if you can imagine it, here was also a fluffy, a fluffy one. Now, what I'm going to show you here, because that's what I wanted to do. Um, let's say I have this picture here of this young man. Then what I can do is also from here, I can change the background. Uh, I can do a face swap and upscale as well. So if I want to have a really high quality picture, I can upscale and download this. But look at this. This is a face swap. Let's say I want to have the same person here, but I want to change this face with somebody from another country that has another style of face. Um, you can go through the database in here. You can click on show more and we'll show you all different kinds of options. So let's say uh, I don't want to have him in here. I want to have, um, let's see what we have. So it's basically going to render new models. As you can see, when I click on show more, these are also persons that do not exist. But let's say I want to have some kind of person like this. So what I can do is I can say I want to swap faces, make this face more similar to this face. So when I click here on change face, look what happens. And there we go. Look at this. Now it's a totally different face than the first face that we saw. You see, it's, it has more of the details of a man like this in his face. So uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but you, you got the ID, right? So this is the result. You can save that to your computer uh, and it's completely different. And then the next thing, uh, let me show you that in here, since it's visual here, uh, when we go to the gallery again, what you can do is you can also remove backgrounds from pictures. So let's take a picture. Um, well, let's take another picture. Let's take, let's take this guy here, this handsome young man. So what we want to do here is we want to change the background of this picture in here. So we click on change background. That's going to open the editor for us. It's going to process and it's going to delete the background for us. And this will be done automatically. So you don't have to draw anything. As you can see here, boom, it's automatically being removed from the picture. And then what you can do is you can add any design that you have here at the right side. So these are designs, but you can also upload your own image. Let's say you want to have this person here um, in this image. Then boom, look at this. You can replace this with any kind of background here. This is in the office, or maybe you want to have an office like this. It will be replaced. Now, this is a square image, but if you have a larger image, a landscape image, of course, you will see the office much better. But you can see everything is replaced right now. And this can be done with your own pictures as well. So, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Like I said, you can upload your own images in here, uh, but you can remove the background of any image. So let's go back to the gallery. Let's take another picture in here where we want to remove. Now, I think uh, removing the background from images like this is a bit difficult uh, because there's a lot of grass in here, uh, but we can we can try. Let's let's take this girl. Let's try if it, if it is possible to change the background. And let's in the meanwhile, let's search for uh, flowers uh flower fields something like this let's say we want to add her in the flower field here um let's say we want to use one of these pictures let's see go to images this is just a quick example of course we can also generate these images ourselves uh, with the software but let's say we want to use this image we're going to save this image to our computer and now we go back 
So here it has deleted the background that you can see. So what you can do here is you can upload your own file, the file that we just got from the internet in here. Oh, this is a web piece. Let me pause this. And I'm back already. So I, I did a screenshot of that image um, so that I can use it. Now it's a JPEG. So I'm going to replace this image here in the background. And you can choose what, what area of the image you want to use. So let's say I want to use this part here. Then you can click on save and look what happens. Now this background will be added to this girl here. Oh, it will be uploaded first here at the right side. There it is. And now I can select it and look at this. Boom. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, does it? So we cut out the background of the image that we created with artificial intelligence and we replaced it with our own background, as you can see. And it looks pretty cool, actually. Now you can also, when you go to the main menu here, also see your history, so which is not saved. Uh, it will always be placed in your history. So this is what we've done today, as you can see here. You can see all the images. Uh, when you scroll down, it will show you more images. And you can still click on these images. If you can, as you can see, you can right click this and you can still save the images. Uh, but here you can see the history of what you've done recently will be stored in here as well. And then also there is some training in here as well. When we click on training, uh, it will show you the training area where they will show you uh, how it works. So change the background, uh, visual upscale, how you can upscale your images. Uh, not much training, but I think uh, if you've seen this review, I pretty much showed you everything you need to know. Uh, and I think it's a pretty cool software. Let me just finish by doing one more. I think a cool one to show you is nature because I really like nature pictures as well. So, uh, beautiful, a beautiful nature um, with still water and mountains in the background. And let's see what it comes up with. I also want to have a horizontal. Let's see what it comes up with. And I think synthesis. Um, is doing a really great job with nature images. And look at this. I think this looks so good here. Look at these images. These are just created with, with this software, just by describing it. A beautiful nature with still water. Um, look at this, how beautiful. And one thing I really like is purple glow. So when I add the same line here, comma, purple, purple glow, and I can even do uh, and fog. Look at this. I think this will be stunning as well. Boom. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. I really love it. Look at this here. <laughs> I'm really, I'm always amazed by those nature pictures. Look at this. This is just, this does not exist on earth, but it's created with artificial intelligence. This one, this one is super beautiful look at this i really like that the purple style on images and that fog really really beautiful and you can also create alternatives you can upload this image you know do an alternative of, of this picture here we all know how it works but man um i'm blown away honestly you have to play with this software while recording this review i didn't skip any part except for the render parts um i'm blown away so yeah, if you're uh, interested in this software, I think I've show, shown you everything on the inside. Uh, again, there's a link in the description of this video. Make sure you check it out. It will redirect to my website. You're going to get some free upgrades as a thank you for picking this up through my link. And that's only available through my link as well. Uh, make sure to check out all the details on my page. Uh, and yeah. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of my reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new reviews. And please hit that thumbs up if this video was useful. And I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.